Depping or Deepen Minix, which I have looked at before, um, but that was the early, early stages of 23. So Depping and uh, Linux, of course, used to be based on, I believe, Ubuntu and Debian. And in recent times, uh, for version 23, they've been looking at making it more of an independent upstream, still using app technologies and still, you know, focusing on being easy to use, um, and, you know, allegedly easy to use out of the box, uh, have additional applications, easy to find using the Japan store. Um, and of course, having other, uh, additional, uh, features and software, you know, pre-selected. And after quite some time, uh, Deppin is now, uh, or Deepin got into the beta and I thought, Hey, let's take a look at the beta, especially with having recently looked at open Thailand. So let's, uh, take a look. Okay. So we're going to do local new, uh, Deppin desktop community. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just going to, for lack of it, just choose. I've been testing. Give this thing just over a kick of memory. If this it calls, make him an eight gig hard drive. Just call it Deppen twenty three. Then not fully finished, but. Different details of Twitter. Again, like Highland, two kernels, 6.15 to 15. Each of them, of course, are LTS long term kernels, as we're going to like this over here. Um, Deppin, of course, has its own independent desktop interface. Uh, Deppin UI, I suppose you can call it, and that you can install on other Linux distros as well. So choose. Again, there's always been chats about or discussions whether how safe uh, that is. Uh, we're going to select the English version. Next, full disk install. Um, next, it usually requires about 60 gigs of install. Uh, we don't feature kind of backup. We're just going to start the install and let it run. Um, one thing I, again, I've said this before about the Chinese distros, really good looking distros. Um, and they're generally pretty, seem to be easy to use and all honesty, especially out of the box. Um, they, and sometimes they almost put uh, the Western distros uh, to shame when it comes to some design uh, choices. Um, really excited to try uh, Teppen uh, beta interested to see what they've been able to come up with uh, after all this time so I'm going to let this install quickly and we'll be right back possible Can. I've chosen a completely different password than the usual one. It doesn't seem to like it. Okay, so now we know why it was so quick to load the first time. That, of course, was because it was getting to this configuration screen. Okay. Um, should you use something like uh, Deppin yourself or Deepin? Completely up to you. Uh, Let's, let's uh, take a closer look. Nice slogan screen. Nice animations going on. Uh, there's a video. Seeing for nice music. I'm just going to close that video. Off, and I'm going to first fix the resolution. So let's click on nice some settings. Display. The resolution. I will say, okay, that's the resolution fixed. Personalization, different themes, I take it. 
it's uh, anything here that's a dark theme, maybe? Uh, dark. Cool. Okay, so uh, this is uh, different 23 beta. It starts with home, and this takes you to a unified communication center, so you can discuss and share, give suggestions to the team to bug reports, internal testing, community news, so you can just hit that, and it gives you some links. Uh, Wiki opens up a Chromium-based uh, Wiki uh, with regards to the distribution, and then we go to about here, and it tells you if it's built by any tech software, Chromium source. Um, interestingly enough, uh, the default search engine is Google. I'm not sure if it's uh, different slight versions for perhaps for uh, China and the rest of the world. Uh, but I did find it very interesting that it was uh, Google as the default search engine. Um, Okay, yeah, that's great. Uh, use hyper acceleration when pulling it. and web compatible tools. And yeah, this is just a normal Chrome based browser. In fact, let's see, we can add a Chrome extension. So let's do uh, you block origin, Chrome, then go to the web store, uh, add to Chrome, add extension. And that, that answers that question. You can uh, use the Chrome tool extension straight out of the box. Not too difficult since it is a Chromium based browser and close off. Okay. I uh, hear this is a lot and a lot analog data. So you can assume create an account, sign in if you really wanted to, uh, using a Declan sign in. Yeah, not going to do that then. Uh, okay, let's start here. Let's start uh, over the interface similar to GNOME, GNOMES, activities, and um, just giving you a whole overview here. You proof make a, a package installer. Uh, so you can do uh, updated packages. A manual. I really like this. Uh, this manual gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make certain changes to your desktop everything from changing the wallpaper to how the icons in the dock and what the default icons are how to switch displays and it's just you know this is just fantastic i wish all linux distros had this type of documentation under the box especially for e users it's just fantastic uh piece of uh Needing that, and it's great that it's built in. Um, normal stuff like a text editor, pretty normal standard. Uh, text editor, Debian. You'll kind of find the same as well. Uh, terminal, I really like the Debian look of the terminal. I don't know why. Um, so let's do sudo apt install, you know, fetch. I'm not even too sure if this will work. Okay, yeah, it's not going to work. Uh, uh, sudo apt update. And you can see it will only use the Debian repos. Yeah, so something like MFH is obviously not uh, available. Okay, uh, system monitor, so it's using 1.2 gigs of memory, really not much memory at all, considering all the advanced stuff it has to do, especially from the graphic side. Uh, SPARF, low CPU usage, um, really straight and simple to the point. Only it, or... Oh, this is a gag. Uh, because the iPad has no clue what the point of this game is. I guess again, I can't win the area or we exit it. It works. Uh, and then, of course, I've got a LibreOffice. Interesting choice here. Uh, some of the other distros uh, from 
China trip, which German used to be PS, so it's great to see. Uh, the welcome screen that I actually close out for the video. Adjust off mode, so you can have fashion or efficient mode. So efficient mode, it changes uh, the dot to more normal traditional. I'll go back to fashion mode. Running mode, you can have effect normal mode. So basically, if you don't have a lot of graphic resources or resources on a machine, you can just make it to normal mode. And you can choose to a different type of uh, icons as well. Uh, just to note, if you do that, wow, it's uh, all change it back from dark. So it's just, uh, it's back from the dark thing. Wow, that hurt. Um, as you can see here in the settings section here, now, very similar to uh, Kylan. Uh, you've got your notification, your sound, your power, your update, your system info. Yeah, Windows 6.11. And um, your proof menu options. Yeah, start up to label theme. Really kind of the same settings you, you get in mostly all interfaces these days. It's all pretty much much more much less now. Um, FOS here refined. Uh, here, of course, uh, their farm manager. It looks very similar to the farm manager we saw in, in Open Kynan. Yeah, giving you your free disk space that you've got. Left. Uh, you also theme it, connect to a Samba server and change uh, what items are shown on the side. Hidden files. Uh, changing if you want to double click, single click, or more type of um, file manager stuff. Ah, we we'll stop clicking the deep in home. And that's just, of course, just the icon here. And the different uh, views. Right, uh, the App Store. And you can also sign into the App Store. Again, you can with and sign in. Here, I see, let's go a few categories, hot apps, or now I can see to appears offices here, Firefox Quantum, normal Chrome, Suggestify, and Store. One time I just hit download there, start downloading it. If I go to manage, and it shows me what apps are installed and what I can uninstall. Updates Let's just check if updates in the background A okay. And nice, that's all Sad to a Firefox is installed And it's got the On the desktop, so Firefox at H So it will do something. Uh, here, this is what's stuck in. Of course, here's the Chinese uh, version of Firefox. Okay. Um, and Wine Runner, you can install as well. I've put some of the Swingers apps and we can throw spas. Yeah, down here, of course, it got a whole little list here. Of kind of like the quick items in known extensions, all kid E, brightness, or sound volume, as search, like it's cash white. Okay, just take. And uh, let's get back to the terminal and take a look at the resources. So I'm going to do change directory to MTC, change to app, list apt, and let's just do a cat with the sources list. And this is the default sources we've got here. Um, let's change the directory to apt-conf and let us Chat set out these file auto remove K 
care. So that's just never search for, never remove the Tlanix images or Tlanix firmwares. Okay. Can't send it to DebConf. We can all packages. Cat might name. Uh, it's store dot on. Okay, smart mirrors. True. And default to mirrors to acquire from. Okay, assembly. Takes available for bridge maker. Three. Noisy little. Let's check this one with all of its bells and whistles here. And let's just do a cat. Model A stored charge. Yeah, and some tokens got here. Cool. So, I use this well. Not personally, I do think it looks fantastic. Uh, really gives, as I've said, and it just chose to run for the money. But uh, I myself would be a little bit hesitant of using this, uh, just because you don't necessarily know what is all going on in the background. And I'll um, let you know, maybe try it in virtual machine. And yeah, be great to hear your feedback and what you think about it. And I'm going to say, as always, thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.